I'm gonna tell you how I went from making $20,000 at a behavioral health hospital to over $100,000 as a data analyst at a Fortune 500 company. What's going on everybody? My name is Alex Freeberg and I wanna help you become a data analyst. If that's something you're interested in, be sure to subscribe below. Let's get into it. All right, so I'm gonna take you back to the very first job that I had at a college and just walk you through the job that I've had until the one I have now. I'm gonna go over salary, kind of my job description, and then how I transitioned into the next job. So right out of college, I moved to Dallas, Texas. I was working at a behavioral health hospital and I was making $10 an hour, which roughly translates to $20,000 a year. And the work that I was doing is I was doing group therapies with people who had schizophrenia, bipolar disorder, who were suicidal, basically anybody that needed help in a behavioral health hospital. I would do therapies with them and I do progress notes and things like that. So if you're in that world, you know what that is. During that time is when I had met my wife, I decided to stay in Dallas. And so I just started looking for any full-time job. So I was just playing to just completely random jobs, really trying to get anything. I got a job as a caretaker at a nonprofit. I was making $36,000 a year. That was actually a pretty big bump. I just out of college, I was like, hey, $36,000 is uh, it's not that bad. And side note, that's when I married my wife. So I know she didn't marry for my money. <laughs> The work that I was doing there was basically, I was taking care of the day-to-day -day needs of the people who were in the shelter. And the shelter was comprised of people who were like being abused at home or trying to get away. And so I just took care of, you know, toiletries, I cooked food, I did basically anything that they needed, that's what I did. So during that time, there was an opening at the nonprofit that I was at for a data collection specialist and analyst. I applied, I got the job, and I was making $47,000 per year. And that one felt like a huge jump to me. I was like, $47,000 a year? Back where I'm from in North Carolina, that's a pretty good salary. And so in that job, I was basically collecting data for our grants. And so what that means is we would get federal and state grants and we had to submit data in order to get those grants again next year. So throughout the course of the year, I would collect the data, I put it, organize it in Excel, and then I, we would submit it. So basically I was only working in Excel during that time. There was really no database stuff. It really wasn't a data analyst position, but it had that kind of in the title. And so that's what I put on my resume at least. I was at the nonprofit for a whole year, six months as a caretaker, six months as a data collection specialist and analyst. When I decided I wanted to make a little more money for my family, and so I tried to get out of the nonprofit world. After that, I got a job as a data analyst at a healthcare analytics company, and I was making around $63,000 a year. The company was a QCDR, which is basically a qualified clinical data registry. So we would collect data from MIPS and other programs. We would submit it on their behalf so they could make money and get the reimbursements that they're supposed to get. I also did a lot of reports. I worked with clients to clean their data. Uh, I did a lot of things in SQL, the store procedures and Excel, and learned a lot about how that actually works in a production environment. After that, I decided to try to work for a larger company. Now, the reason I wanted to work for a larger company was stability. So next, I actually became a junior data analyst. And that happened because the company I was working at, I was a data analyst for the healthcare analytics company. But when I was transitioning to a larger company, I just felt like I didn't have the skills needed to really excel as a data analyst or above. So I applied for a lower position because I just wanted to get my foot in the door and then work my way up once I got in. So I got hired as a junior data analyst at a Fortune 500 company and I was making $76,000 hourly. So my benefits I was just getting through the recruiting company, which weren't that good and they were very expensive. So during that time, I'm working with the clients for a lot of things. I'm working with them to get their data into our systems, into our warehouses. I'm working with them to get them reports and making sure that their data is clean. A lot of that kind of work. After six months, they decided to hire me on full time. So instead of a junior data analyst, they actually gave me a promotion to a data analyst too. So my base salary was 92,000 and then I had a yearly bonus of 9%, which is roughly around $100,000. Obviously I was a bit shocked. I didn't think that that was gonna happen. I just figured that they would go from 76,000 hourly to maybe like mid 70s yearly. And so I was really surprised and I was extremely happy because I felt like that really validated the fact that, you know, I am a data analyst, I can do this. So that's it. That's how I got to where I am today. I still have a long way to go and I have lots of goals and aspirations for my future. I do not want to stay complacent. I want to progress and excel and be the best data analyst that this company's ever seen. I hope I described that well and how I transitioned to each job. I really think that each job played a part in how I became who I am today, in my career at least. And so I don't look back and think, wow, what a waste of time. I look back and I think, wow, I'm so fortunate. I don't think my story is uncommon either. I think a lot of people have made those transitions and been able to be really successful. If that's you or you know somebody who's done that, be sure to comment below. I'd love to hear how that happened or how they were able to do that. It can be really inspiring just to hear someone else who's done it. Thank you so much for watching. I really, really appreciate it. If you like this type of content, be sure to subscribe below. 
Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.